Hello and welcome again to the Rider Review. This is Eric Kurat Rider, and this week we're going to be taking a look back at the 2017 survival adventure drama titled The Mountain Between Us. Now, The Mountain Between Us runs for one hour and 52 minutes long. It is uh, directed by Hani Abu Asad. It is produced by Peter Chernin, Dylan Clark, David Reddy, and Jeno Topping. The script was written by Chris Weitz and J. Mills Goodlow. It is based off of a novel, The Mountain Between Us, by Charles Martin. The score was done by Ramin Jawadi. The cinematography by Mandy Walker. And it was edited by Lee Percy. And the stars of the movie are... Idris Elba, who plays the leading role of Dr. Ben Bass. Um, these guys, these performers here were not actually originally cast. I mean, there were different actors who were up for the two lead roles, Dr. Ben Bass and photojournalist Alex Martin. But, you know, you know, with the change of direction and the change of of crew members, you know, there was a bit of a come and go. Uh, for Idris Elba's character, Dr. Ben Bass, it was originally planned to have Michael Fassbender play the role, but then he dropped out. Charlie Hunnam was also supposed to play Dr. Ben Bass, but then he dropped out. So then Idris Elba stepped up to the plate, and he is playing the leading role of Dr. Ben Bass. Also, you know, there's been many characters who are up for the role of uh, Alex Martin, which is played by Kate Winslet. Such performers included Marco Robbie. And uh, let's see, who do I remember? Um, who also was supposed to play um, Alex Martin? But I do know Marco Robbie dropped out. And somebody else did. I just can't think of it, of who. Uh, also joining the supporting cast includes Dermot Mulroney, Bo Bridges, and a dog who's basically just referred to simply as Walter's dog. Walter was, of course, Bo Bridges. Uh, the dog was actually played by two dog actors named Raleigh and Austin. So. The Mountain Between Us is a survival adventure romantic tale based off of the novel of the same title by Charles Martin. It tells the story of two complete strangers who have serious commitments they need to attend to, but the situation they are facing makes it very impossible as they're trapped in the mountains and must defend each other in order to survive the and to prevent injury and frigid conditions. The leading performers are veteran stars Idris Elba and Kate Winslet and are supported by Bo Bridges and Dermot Mulroney. It is under the competent direction of Hani Abu Assad and the script was handled with care by Chris Weitz and J. Mills Goodlow. In many ways, this movie has a similar approach to David Mamet's The Edge, which also focuses on the theme of survival in harsh conditions. I like stories of people striving to survive as they spark unpredictable scenes that help facilitate both the character and the characters, and the atmosphere that carries nicely to the plot. What makes this movie stand out is that the chemistry within the performers carry the film in its entirety. I, I really truly liked the liked that even though the movie has been often complained of being far fetched and convoluted in terms of scenarios, maybe you might be partially right about that. There are some exaggerations that make you suspend belief your beliefs. But I still think that that the domination of the performers, the performances from both Kay Winslet 
and Idris Elba did make this movie all the more possible. I really, really actually dug their chemistry. Even as far-fetched as the scenes go, they still pulled it off very nicely. Elba stars as Dr. Ben Bass, a surgeon who needs to go back to Baltimore to operate on a very sick little boy. Winslet plays the role as photojournalist Alex Martin, who needs to be in New York in time for her wedding to Mark Robertson, played by Dermot Mulroney. When their airlines have been canceled due to stormy weather, Alex and Ben decide to hire a private plane to get them back to their respective destinations. In a time of emergency, desperate times call for desperate measures. Even if they have to pull a few extra wads from their cash book, so be it. They have engagements they have to attend to, and they just... Is some, it's just some kind of a clause that they can't escape of. In the case of Ben, this child's depending on him to make him better again. Or at least put whatever illnesses he has aside in remission. As for, as for Alex, you know, she has her commitment because she has, she has a wedding to attend to. So Alex and Ben decide to hire a private plane to get them back to their respected destinations. They hire an elderly pilot by the name of Walter, played by Bo Bridges, who's accompanied by a rescue dog, played by Riley and Austin. And once aboard the plane, they start to connect with each other. Suddenly... Walter suffers a stroke, and the plane crashes in the frozen mountains. Yeah. We're in the middle of winter, and I'm still talking about movies that centered around the cold, frigid conditions. Ain't I a bastard? But thankfully, Ben, Alex, and the dog survive. With no one to turn to due to the lack of a flight plan, Ben, Alex, and the dog must survive must survive in this cold weather without any kind of communication. Maybe they may have to go as far as to do something like a smoke signal or an SOS. But because they don't have any kind of communications, I guess it's just survival of the fittest and just do everything they can to to make sure nobody dies on each other apparently i think according to the book they were stuck in the frozen wilderness for 19 days fortunately everything turns out okay as they all survive. Spoiler alert! However, though Alex does, is badly injured, she also has guilt manifested in her, as she never told Mark what she did before the wedding. Meanwhile, Ben is laden with grief, as he's never gotten over the death of his wife, who, who died two years ago from a brain tumor. As these two lamented souls who find themselves believing they'll never be rescued, the weather starts to get worse and tensions are starting to get high. And with limited resources left, the fear of dying is drawing near. And they both epitomize that perfectly well. Some people say that there's really not very much to do the happening in this movie. But then again, they're in the cold. They're out without really too much food or shelter or survival instincts. I mean, what are they supposed to do? There's they're basically practically in the middle of a frozen nowhere with little to no communication. So what did you expect if why people say that nothing happened in this movie? 
I say that that is an injustice. There is actually perhaps more happening than meets the eye. But the problem is, it's just that people think that, oh, maybe they should have an altercation with a huge grizzly bear. Yeah, right. Gets get real here, folks. If they had a confrontation with a grizzly bear with no defensive mechanisms like a gun or a rifle. I mean, not even necessarily to kill the bear, but to just scare it off. Would that probably excite you? Or if one of them got mauled to death, would that would have been exciting? Of course not. Let's get real here. I think that when you're in the wilderness, you'll barely probably, no pun intended, run into a bear or a wolf or any other kind of dangerous carnivorous beast. I don't even think twice about the abominable snowman. No. All, all, all kidding aside, this is about as real as it could get. And if you really were stranded out in the frozen tundra, you're very seldomly likely going to run into these animals. Because let's face it, animals are more scared of humans than we are afraid of them. So let's just kind of put that in perspective. With the success of the game show Survivor, Hollywood has always had a place in their hearts for characters lost in civilization. But the movie is about two people who live in separate walks of life. While the plot may be simplistic, there's many traits that will keep the viewers compelled. With the pairing of mega stars like Idris Elba and Kate Winslet, we can guarantee great things from them. Sure, their chemistry is solid. Their divide scenes are equally compelling as Ben tries to find help. There is no toxic there's no toxic ways about these characters because in the battle of survival this is not competitiveness this is about survival and when it comes to survival our competitive toxic toxic ways just won't work Sure, the chemistry is solid. Their divide scenes are equally compelling as Ben tries to find help. For a film running an hour and 52 minutes long, there's a lot being covered here. Elba is strong as the optimistic and dependable doctor who has never overcome his grief. His performance shows us that he is one of the most underrated performers in Hollywood who deserves more recognition than he already has. Kate Winslet is also excellent as Alex, who feels to blame for this mess due to her insecurities. Their chemistry showing here feels organic, as we can relate to two strangers were lost from civilization who need comfort for each other if they have a chance to survive. Many people might probably say that the whole romantic angle seems to be somewhat awkward because of the fact that in the real world, if two strangers were lost in the wilderness, they would never really get romantically involved, especially if the two survivors happen to be a guy and a girl. No, that would not happen in real life. Maybe they would just coexist on account of being both members of the human race. I'm sure they will probably show some form of camaraderie. But to see them actually get romantically involved, well, that is just a bit of a lack of a reality check on their part. Because in reality, that, never, that doesn't happen. I mean, once they get back to safety in the real world, they would probably be like, well, it was nice knowing you. Um, I hope to see you or hear from you someday. They'll probably say the same thing. And you know what? 
they never speak to each other ever again. They'll probably go years and years and maybe even never to speak to each other ever again. That's the reality. As much as I hate to say it, and as much as I hate to sound cynical, but these guys are strangers. They have their own lives. And they'll probably end up being platonic with each other instead of romantic. And I also kind of found it to be a bit weird that near the end, Kay Winslet's character, Alex, decides to drop out of the wedding that she had with um, with Mark. And it wasn't really a very convincing the end of the, the marriage before it ever started. And why she turned him down on the wedding day. Because she ended up just having feelings for Ben. Which I kind of find to be a bit surreal. All those, all that year or two of preparations for their marriage. And it comes down to her turning him down. For really a very lame excuse. Just doesn't sit very well. So yes, this movie does have some surreal moments. That might be a bit of an exaggeration. Apparently she decides to come back and reunite and hopefully start the beginning of a new relationship between her and Ben, which is a bit of an exaggeration. But I still think that the performances are really well done, and I guess maybe we could just easily forgive that and just let it slide. I definitely feel that Idris Elba deserves more recognition that he already has. Kate Winslet is excellent as Alex. She's, of course, won herself many, many Academy Awards and has many nominations. And uh, you know, I have always uh, felt that she can always turn in a good performance, no matter what. Filmed on location in the Rocky Mountains of British Columbia and Alberta, the natural scenery is pretty much like a character of its own, with a beauty from an eye's perspective, but a feeling of isolation, claustrophobia, maybe even hypothermia from a physical standpoint. When you see them freezing and chilling, it just makes you want to just go out, grab a warm blanket, maybe fix yourself a nice cup of hot chocolate, and try your best to stay warm. Because just watching them freeze might even give you the chills. And it sure looks great from like a great vacation for a stay for a day or two. But this duo isn't here on vacation. They're here to survive. They're trying to get back to their commitments. And though director Abu Hassad succeeds to keeping things intriguing, but the main setbacks are the lack of plot twists. The scenarios are played out to one's expectancy. While it's strong in entertainment value, but no real revelations come between this pair, which is why The Edge can be the better film because it does have a much more daring feeling to it. But it's still very tense and works well on several areas. We always hope that these two likable characters will pull through. Even though some of the stuff that goes on is anticlimactic and also at times bordering on surrealism, we can easily forgive those. This movie is definitely strongly recommended for all to see. Maybe not necessarily a survival guide to the mountains come to life, but, uh, you know, very effective storytelling. And I thought the performances by Winslet and Elba are really good. So if I was to give this a scale out of 10, I would probably give The Mountain Between Us a 9 out of 10. So I guess this ends my right of review. Thank you all for listening in. If you wish to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. If you wish to leave a comment, go right ahead. But just remember the three simple rules. Be kind, be courteous, and please refrain from any rude comments. 
and I will be back again with another movie review. So until next time, this is Eric Cartwright saying, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you around. Goodbye. <laughs>